This is Akashwani, the news read by Narang Koyang. The government has extended the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan, Kalyan Anna Yojana for another five years from 1st of January 2024. Under the scheme, 5 kg of free food grains are being provided per month over 81 crore poor in the country. Briefing media in New Delhi, Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur made the announcement about the Union Cabinet's decision in this regard. The Union Cabinet also approved a central sector scheme for providing drones to the women's self-help groups. The Minister informed that under the scheme, drones will be provided to 15,000 selected women's SAGs during 2023-24 to 2025-2026 to for providing rental services to farmers for agricultural uses. The scheme has been approved with an outlay of 1,261 crore rupees. Mr. Thakur added that the Union Cabinet also cleared the term of reference for the 16th Finance Commission. President Ruputi Murmu will be on a four-day visit to Maharashtra from today. The President will inaugurate a national conference on integration of yoga in school education system, manifesting the thought. Organized by Kai Valiya Dam as part of its centenary year celebrations at Lonavala near Pune. She will also attend the presidential dinner at National Defense Academy Khadak Vasla this evening. Tomorrow, the President will review the passing out parade of 145th course of National Defense Academy at Khadak Vasla. She will also lay the foundation stone for a building of the upcoming 5th Battalion. On Friday, the President will present the President's color to the Armed Forces Medical College at Pune. She will also virtually inaugurate the Armed Forces Center for Computational Medicine Prajna. On the same day, she will inaugurate the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of the Government Medical College Nagpur at Nagpur. On 2nd of December, the President will grace the 111th Convocation of Rashtra Sant Tuka Doji Maharaj Nagpur University at Nagpur. In Telangana, all necessary preparations have been made to ensure free and fair polling in the state's assembly elections tomorrow. Poll parties will leave for this evening. Voting will be held from 119 assembly seats from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Over 3 crore 26 lakh electors will be exercising their franchise at 35,655 polling stations across the state. Out of this, over 12,000 polling stations have been identified as sensitive. The Election Commission has made elaborate security arrangements across the state to ensure fair and free polling. Vigil has been stepped up at all check posts on state borders with neighboring states including Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. A total of 375 companies of Central Armed Forces, 50 companies of Telangana Special Police, 45,000 state police and 23,000 500 home guards from neighboring states have been deployed for security arrangements to ensure peaceful polling. Meanwhile, over 2,8,000 personnel have been placed into poll duties. Telangana Chief Electoral Officer Vikas Raj informed that Section 144 has been imposed in the state wherein the gathering of four or more people is prohibited. He appealed to voters for ethical voting and to stay away from any kind of inducements. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has loaded the rescue operations to evacuate all 41 workers who were trapped inside collapsed Silk Yara Tunnel in Uttarakhand from the past 17 days. The nation hived a sigh of relief yesterday after 400-hour-long multi-agency rescue operation in the state ended in success with the safe evacuation of all trapped workers. A part of the under-construction tunnel from Silk Yara to Barcote collapsed on the 12th of this month due to a landslide following which the laborers were trapped inside. Soon after workers were evacuated, the Prime Minister spoke to the rescued workers over the phone and inquired about their well-being. While interacting with Prime Minister Modi, the workers said they kept their spirits up while trapped inside by taking morning walks and practicing yoga. The workers held Prime Minister Modi, Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami and rescue teams for their efforts. The U.S. Embassy and its consulates in India issued a record-breaking 1,40,000 student visas between October 2022 and September this year. The U.S. State Department in a statement announced that it issued more than 1 crore non-immigrant visas globally during this period. Additionally, the U.S. Embassy issued nearly 18 lakh visitors' visas for business and tourist purpose, which is the highest since 2015. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.